Welcome Sierra Bible Church. We are looking forward to seeing all of you soon. Love you. Bye. Good morning, Sierra Bible Church kids. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. And the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna play a scavenger hunt. So everybody get ready. And Vicki, are you ready? Are you ready I to play? I'm so ready. You're so ready to play? We're gonna have a good time. It's gonna be a humongous prize for the winner. Yes, humongous. Amazing. Amazing prize. It's a secret though, what the prize is. Anyway, so I've got my list here and we are gonna play. Okay, are you ready? The first one is some kind of a dress up costume. Something that you might have at your house as a dress up costume. You know, maybe it's uh, a princess thing or maybe it's a fireman thing or maybe it's uh, something left over from something else. Oh, I think you've got one here and that's really cute. Yeah, that's like a bell a few years ago. Okay, good, good. Our next one is a hat. Any kind of hat. If you can go find a hat at your house, a hat. The hat can be a baseball hat, it can be a cowboy hat. Be any kind of a hat at all, and here comes Vicky. She's got a straw hat on. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! <laughs> like that. She got two things. Okay, here's another one. We got a few of these laying around our house. Goggles, swim goggles. Anybody have some swim goggles? Let's go find some swim goggles. Swim goggles. I know we've been looking for some of those. We even had to order some. Oh, look, Vicky's got her swim goggles on. Got her ones. Show my glasses. I love them. How about, this is out of season now, because I don't know if it's gonna happen, but do you have an umbrella hanging around? Go find an umbrella. An umbrella. I don't know, mine are kind of put away because it's gotten so warm, but look what we have here. We have a really cool umbrella. <laughs> that that one. one. That is an awesome umbrella. Okay, how about your toothbrush? Go get your toothbrush. Hurry up, hurry, 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 hurry. Vic, do you have a toothbrush? Can I brush my teeth with a sponge? No, that doesn't count. Oh. I mean, you can if you want to, but <laughs> she doesn't have a toothbrush, well. sorry. How about a stuffed animal? Favorite stuffed animal? Let's get a stuffed animal. We got a couple more on here. Stuffed animal, oh, a zebra. I like zebras, I like zebras. The next one is a Toy truck, any kind of a truck. Maybe it's a, um, I don't know, girls might not have trucks, but you might have a Barbie car at your house. Barbie car would work too. Any kind of a truck or a car. Got it? I got a dump truck. Oh, she's got a dump truck. That's cool, that works. Okay, next one is either an army man or a Barbie. Army man or Barbie? Army man or Barbie. We've got those at my house, I know. We'll be running and grabbing them. Oh, great, we got an army my man. Dollhouse stalls a little sad. Okay, well, good. Does good. it count? She, she, we'll count her. We'll count her. How about this? A hair scrunchie. I've got one right, right here in my hair. hair. And Vicky's got one right here in her hair, too. Hair scrunchie. Okay, last one. Okay, this is the last one, and you guys might have one of these at your house. And I'm going to kind of change this up just a little bit. Any kind of a face mask. Face mask or a bandana. Anything that you can cover your face with. There's there we go, good job. It's so warm. I like it, <laughs> it's blue. Okay, so you guys get a gigantic prize. Woo! I want you to go ask your parents what that gigantic special prize is, okay? Yay! High five. There we go. Okay, good for you. Well, it was great playing that game with you. We're gonna just transition now. We're gonna go to our Bible lesson. And just as I talked about last week, we had been in the Old Testament of the Bible, and now we're moving to the New Testament of the Bible. And if you go to your Bible, remember it's in two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament, and testament means covenant or promise. And that means this was God's promise to Abraham and Abraham's family, the Jewish people. And then in the New Testament, we're looking at a new promise. Can anybody imagine what that new promise is going to be in the New Testament? It starts with the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That's right, the new promise is Jesus. Jesus came and he was born. And last week we had a lesson about how he was just 12 years old. Well, this week we're gonna have a really quick lesson about Jesus when he first starts telling people about God the Father. 
And so he's 30 years old now, probably about the age of some of your parents, or maybe just a little younger than some of your parents. And Jesus had grown up as a carpenter's kid. His dad had made things with wood. Maybe your dad or your mom or your grandparents or somebody does things with wood. Jesus had grown up as a carpenter's son, but now he was going out into the world. And one of the things that he ran into, or he found, was his cousin, you guys might know the name. Does anybody here know it? John the Baptist. And it was Jesus' cousin. And John the Baptist was a very interesting guy. He loved God with all of his heart. He was a worshiper of God. And he lived out in the desert. And the Bible says that he wore like animal skins on his body. Like, I don't know if he would make a robe out of furry animal skins. I don't know what kind of animals they were. I think it might be mentioned in the Bible, but he wore animal skins. And then the other thing is he liked to eat locusts. The kids, you know what locusts are? Like a bug? It's like a bug. It's like a grasshopper. He liked to eat locusts and he would dip them in honey. And I got a little honey here. And can you imagine eating bugs with honey? Sorry, not me. I'd rather have something else for lunch today. Okay, so we're not going to do that. But John the Baptist, and he lived out in the desert. And one of the things that he did is he would tell people about Jesus. And the Bible said he was a voice shouting in the wilderness, prepare the way the Lord is coming, clear the road for him. He was telling everybody that Jesus was coming and that Jesus was going to be the way to God the Father in heaven. And when people started hearing about this, they believed John, and you know what they wanted to do when they said they believed John? They wanted to show that they believed by getting baptized. And some of you guys have probably been baptized, maybe some of you haven't, but when you get baptized, it's showing that you believe in God, that God sent his son Jesus to die for our sins. And so John the Baptist was telling people about Jesus and people were getting baptized. Vicki's been baptized. Carrie's been baptized. Allison, have you been baptized? She's been baptized. Mr. Ed over here, he's been baptized. I was baptized when I was nine years old. And so John the Baptist was baptized. And all of a sudden, one day, who do you think walks up to the river with John the, by John the Baptist? It was Jesus. And Jesus said, I want to get baptized too. Well, Jesus, J Jesus was the one that John was talking about. How could John baptize him? That just didn't seem possible. And so John the Baptist said, Jesus, I'm not even worthy to tie your shoelaces or your sandals. I'm not worthy. You're the one that is the son of God. You are the one that's the son of God. But you know what? Jesus said, no, I want you to baptize me. And you know what? Jesus went out into the water and John the Baptist baptized him. The Bible says he put him under the water and brought him back up again. And there was a voice from heaven said, this is my son. I'm well pleased with this. He's my son. And Jesus did this to show everybody that he also believed in God the Father, the one true living God who made heaven and earth. And Jesus was baptized to show everyone that. We're baptized today when we want to show everyone that we believe in Jesus too. And maybe some of you want to be thinking about that or talking about that with your parents. And we'd love to talk with you more about that too here at Sierra Bible Church. Well, I hope you have a great day. I hope maybe you'll go and have some fun swimming today or maybe playing with your family or doing something fun. And we look forward to seeing you guys really, really soon. Bye-bye.